Welcome to a quick introduction to the Aircraft Builder application. What we have in this application is five sections. The first one starting with the overview of your dashboard, tasks, build block, project information, and resources. Going back to the project information where we would start, um, we have a look at the aircraft project, your builder information, and then your mentor. So by clicking on the aircraft information, you can select the company, and as you can see there's a huge list of companies available for your um, aircraft. You type in your aircraft model, your kit serial number, what type of construction it is, and what type of aircraft it is. The building information contains your first name, your surname, some contact information, and the membership information if you require it. The mentor contains the person's name, their contact details, and with their authorized person information. This information is used on the front of your build log that you can see here to provide context to the, to the aircraft build. So, going to the dashboard. Okay, give you an overview over here. On the top left corner, you have an aircraft photo to inspire you, of course. You have a little dashboard that shows you the number of tasks you've done on each section of the aircraft, and also the hours you've spent on each section of the aircraft, as well as the total. You have a task list at the bottom, and this task is listed as yours, and this is the one for the mentor. And I'll show you in a few seconds how those work and how they come together. The task overview is where you can see all the tasks you've done and filter them a little bit. So you could go from in progress to ready to review, complete the tasks, and tasks that need reworking. You can also search for any particular items and allows you to quickly access any of the tasks that you require. If you click on the edit button, it will allow you to delete tasks. You can just tap a task and it opens up the task view. The task view will give you your date in the format of your country, a place where you can select photos if you want to select more photos, or and a space where you can select which part of the aircraft you're actually working on. In this case, we'll leave it at the empennage. You have a task description, a deal build duration, and then you also can say where you are. If both are unticked, it's the task is in progress. If you click build or finished, it's ready for review. If you say it's inspected by mentor, it's completed. Now, if there's some rework that has to be done, you can always untick the build to finish, which means that mentor's seen it, but there's still work for you to be done. So in this case, we'll just move it back to as it was. You can click done, and that will save it away. Apologies. So now for the build log. So the build log's got a couple of interesting, interesting aspects to it. The first side is on the left hand, you can see the sections that you want to include or exclude from your build log. By default, everything is included. So we'll exclude everything, include the empennage in this case, and say refresh log. Just refresh the T, and you can see that the empennage is now listed in here. This is a PDF, which you can export either mail to yourself or export to any of the other products like Dropbox. Uh, SkyDrive, um, depending on what you have implemented. If you have Kindle or iBooks on your, um, on your, uh, using those on your iPad, it can also quite easily copy into those. So just to give you quickly what it looks like, your normal stock standard um, email program. Cool. You can also export to CSV file. The CSV file allows you to export it and put it into your favorite. Excel or spreadsheet program and you can use that as a backup mechanism. Again this file can also be saved to Dropbox or SkyDrive if you do use those. The normal process to do is you come to the tasks, you select add, go select what section of the aircraft you're working on, type in your task description and then just save it away. So in this case we'll say that we are doing a demo for our mentor. 
We haven't spent any hours on it and we haven't got any notes to add just yet. So we'll save that away. And you'll see that it's popped up in the to-do list. So next time I come into the application, I'll be able to just click on that and add some notes on it and say, preparing for the demo. Remember to buy, oops, buy an AM4 bolt. And save it again. And as we go along, you can complete it. Once you've done all of that, and uh, I'm ready to demonstrate to my, to my mentor, I can just say, ready for review, and if I had a photo, I could attach a photo. My mentor, and then when my mentor comes around, um, he can see, oh, these are all the tasks I need to do. Let's have a look at what has happened. He looks at the little demo that we're doing, is happy with it, and signs it off. As soon as it's completed, it will disappear from the list. However, in this case, we're going to say that the mentor says that we should use an AM5 bolt, rather, and leaves that to the builder to go and do some rework on it. On the left hand side, now you can see that it's come back and it tells us that that task now requires, has got some rework required and Mentor has to inspect it. So, rework is done. And we just say AM5 installed and builder finished and off she goes. And that has now disappeared from your list. And that in a few very short period uh, short period is a demonstration of what the build app how the build app works. Very simple. You can use your camera on your iPad to take your photos, which I've done before. Um, and especially with the new iPad mini that's coming out soon, it will with the high definition camera, your build looks absolutely spectacular. Thank you very much and um, feel free to contact us and provide us feedback at equiavia.com.